So various publishers now are coming out with the update of the NESB, the NESB 2020 edition. And the Bible we're looking at here is a new one that is being produced by Holman Bible Publishers. And I'm excited about this because it's a really nice Bible. There are various nice Bibles being produced in the NESB 2020, which I've looked at on my channel. But I really do like this size and format, and Holman has done a really good job with this. Starting with the box here, we are looking at the indexed black genuine leather edition and the box for this is really nice it is a two-piece box has a nice look to it nice color scheme and the box itself is really nice and sturdy feeling really beautifully done the back tells you about the bible and looking at the retail for the genuine leather edition it is retailing for about eighty dollars and what I will say is, this is kind of that mid-range Bible. It's not necessarily the most affordable Bible, uh, nor is it a premium Bible. It's right in between, but it's really a nice quality Bible, and it's still quite affordable. So let's take a look at it. So the Genuine Leather reminds me of the personal size Bible uh, in the CSB that I've shown before in the Genuine Leather. I uh, remember a Tyndale Bible that I showed also looked a lot like this, too. Uh, one of the NLT Thinline Bibles, the Genuine Leather, was a lot like this. Very flexible and has a nice grain to it. It is perimeter stitched. The spine of the Bible has tooled spine hubs. So they don't stick up, but you can see there that they are etched in there to the side. Really nice gold stamping. I love the color scheme. Very classic with the black cover, the gold gilt page edges, black head and tail bands, and as you can see here, a red ribbon. Kind of reminds me of the old school Cambridge look with the uh, black and red color scheme. And uh, that is a double-sided ribbon. It's not angle cut, and it's just a decent ribbon. Nothing uh, super high quality. Uh, and there's only one ribbon. I know a lot of people have come to expect more than one ribbon, so it, it would be good if they maybe considered putting two or three ribbons in this Bible. That being said, the ribbon does the job. Another feature I like about this Bible particularly is the thumb index, so, you, so that you can easily get to the book of the Bible that you're looking for. That's really nice if you are in a teaching setting and you just want to quickly turn to a certain book. Uh, or if you're new to the Bible, it will help you to get to the book that you're trying to get to. When you look inside this Bible, it is a paste-down construction, but it has that nice vinyl type material. It's not a paper paste down. It's a little bit higher quality here. Again, it's that mid-range type of a Bible. It does have a nice cardstock presentation page. Very clean look to it. And then you get into the title page here. And here's the copyright information. So the copyright for this specific design by Holman is this year that I'm recording, 2022. And there are various covers and options. Not all of them are indexed, but some of them are. And you also can either get genuine leather or something less expensive in the leather touch. And then this says that it's printed in China in 2022. Here's the table of contents. You have some front matter here, then the biblical text, and then at the end, a topical index. So we'll look at all that here and beginning with the preface or the forward and then the preface to the New American Standard Bible. You can see even this front matter is printed in nice, bold, and uh, pretty large print. 
I love the look of the uh, title page here for the Old Testament. I believe this was designed by 2K Denmark. And looking at this print here, it really is nicely done. I believe it's listed as an 11.25 size font. It's double column paragraph format. And if you are an NASB fan, this is just another thing to be excited about because you have here a very easy to hold Bible, but very readable line matched text. I also like the format here that uh, at the bottom right hand corner of the page, you have the cross references. So this is a reference Bible. And then there's a line separating the cross references from the translator notes. And looking at the paper here, I will say that it's actually uh, really quite nice. I think the paper feels nice, has a quite a smooth feel. And the opacity is decent. That line matching really helps too with that clean, readable look. When you get to the middle of the Bible, you will notice more ghosting in the poetics sections. But again, that line matching helps a lot. And that 11, little over 11 point size font is one of the best size fonts in my opinion. It doesn't look too big to me, but for a lot of people it's large enough to where it will not cause eye strain. You also get those nice features that a lot of people like in the NASB with uh, the supplied words in English in italics. After the Old Testament, here's the New Testament title page. In the book of Matthew here, we'll look and see that it is a red letter text for the words of Christ. Everything in this Bible to me, it looks like it's printed more on the bold side and that even shows up with the red ink here. It may not be the darkest red I've ever seen, but it's a pretty bold and fairly dark red. So I think for a red ink, it's quite readable. Again, NASB formatting, you see the small caps for the Old Testament quotes that are in the New Testament. And any reference to divinity, deity, you will see in capital letters. Even the pronouns for deity are in capital letters, as you see here. I feel like this Bible really is a great all-round use Bible and a Bible that you can carry anywhere. So if you wanted to have a Bible like this for read-through, it's great for that. It's also great for study. You have cross-references. And uh, it's certainly large enough text, and the verses are easy enough to find that you could use it for teaching. And again, this one has the thumb index, which I think is just a, a little extra bonus for being able to quickly find passages. When we get to the end of the Bible, we have a topical index of the Old and New Testament. And after that topical index, we do have one blank sheet here, and then we have the maps from Holman. And they are on just regular cardstock paper. It's not glossy. I want to quickly compare this Bible to a couple of other Bibles that are similar from Holman, just so that you get a, a feel for the comparison with the large print personal size reference in the CSB translation. And you'll see, since they're from the same publisher, they are very similar. Although, I did notice that the NASB is a little bit thicker. It's a, a little bit longer, not much longer in the biblical text, but a little bit longer in the biblical text. And then also the back matter, the topical index, takes up more pages when, than what you get in the CSB. But let's just look at the, uh, the text itself and see how they compare. And you'll notice here that uh, the CSB on the left really looks a lot like this new NASB. The font is a little bit different, the style of it. I would also say the NASB is a little bit more bold. And here's a look at some uh, poetry in both of the Bibles. And I would say generally the NASB looks like it probably has a little bit more words per line 
than what I see in the CSB. So if I had to choose, I actually like the look of this a tad better. I like the look of the NESB a little bit better. So in many ways, these Bibles are very, very similar, and both of them are actually indexed too. So really nice. And one other one that I'll compare with is the single column personal size Bible CSB, again from Holman. And the single column format is going to take up more space in general, but you can see they're actually still very similar size because the single column does have a smaller font, slightly smaller font. It's also not a reference Bible. So here's a comparison of both of these. And again, you can see that uh, the NESB really reads very nicely. The CSB single column is wonderful. Uh, I definitely have said great things about it. It's very readable, but the NESB here is actually a little bit more bold font. So they did a really good job with this. I'm really impressed that even though this is not Holman's translation, that would be the CSB. They did a great job with the NESB. They really gave it good treatment. And being in this genuine leather cover, I think it is a, a great mid-range Bible, really good quality. You're not paying a premium price, but you're still getting a very nice looking, good quality Bible and very usable in many ways. So that's a look at this. If you have any questions or comments about this, I'd love to see that in the comment section. But thank you so much for taking a look at this with me from a fresh perspective.